hidden compartment. Who would hide something here? Oh no! I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half, and fast! The joint near the elbow looks a lot like what Rentaro was working on in his shed. It's really late. I should get to bed. Hello, Nancy-san. Did you know about Kasumi's will? She did not have a will. She was too young. She did. I found it. No. You don't understand what you found. Whatever that says, she didn't mean it. How would you know if she didn't mean it? No. You don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You didn't tell the girls what their mother really wanted because you're afraid of losing the Ryokan. You made up all of this ghost business to scare the girls into doing what you want. Stop! Stop! You're wrong! What do you mean? You... You are right about the will. I knew what Kasumi wanted. Then why did you hide it from them? I wouldn't expect you to understand. Try me. I can't lose them too. There's no guaranteeing that they'll leave if they know the truth. Yes, there is. There is too much sadness for them here. They've forgotten about how things used to be before, before she died. They've forgotten about how this used to be our home. But why would you fake these hauntings if you want them to stay? I would never do that. I think maybe I jumped to a decision too quickly. I know you mean well, Nancy-san. You can't help us here. But thank you for trying. What really happened to Kasumi? I need to know. The police said it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. What did happen? 
It was my job to take care of the bass. I was supposed to be there. She, she was supposed to be meeting with that Penapel friend of hers downtown. She was so excited to go. I should have let her go. I should have taken care of everything myself, but I didn't want to. I didn't like her going into the city. I didn't like that pen pal of hers, always getting her so wound up about leaving here. So, I played sick, so she couldn't go. I don't understand. The pool ledges are very slippery. You must know where to walk. There was a reason I never let her do that part, but I wasn't thinking about that. I was too selfish. She drowned that night in the bats. It should have been me down there, and she knows that. You can't blame yourself for that. You don't understand. I do. Accidents happen. As much as we wish they didn't, you can't keep everyone safe, no matter how hard you try. It is different for a parent, Nancy Son. Miwako and Yumi blame themselves too. If you can't let Kasumi go, how will you be able to help the girls? I don't know if I can do that. No, uh, not quite right. This must be the recorder Rintaro was talking about earlier. I'll take this and leave the other one here. I should translate this and figure out what he's up to. What are you doing in here? You're the one trying to scare everyone away, aren't you? No, Nancy. I'm not trying to scare everyone away. I am scaring everyone away. The Ryokan needs to close down. But why would you want to close this place down? Look around you. Does this look like a good place? Everyone can sense it immediately. And it makes them leave. Everyone but you! But when I tell Miwako that you're here to collect info for Savannah's next book, you'll be out of here too. I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. Not so fast. I've got to find a way to convince everyone about Rentaro, quickly. I don't get it. You're the one who told me the ghosts aren't real. No one usually listens to that line because they want to believe in the ghosts. I didn't start that. They did. They wanted the show and I gave it to them because enough with them and enough of this place. I asked Miwako to leave. I even left myself. Why did you come back? I can't leave Miwako here alone. 
I need to convince her to leave or close this place down. It doesn't matter to me. But you, it's time that you leave. Now. Look familiar? It's been on this whole time. I just push this button and I'll send everything you said to every voicemail box in the place. No. Don't. Why shouldn't I? After everything you've done, your ghost almost drowned me. I really screwed up here. Let me be the one to tell her. If I do, she might forgive me. Eventually. Not a chance, Rentaro. All right. I don't want to be here when you tell her. Dear Hannah, Rentaro left and never returned to the Ryokan. To this day, no one knows where he went. When I told Mawako and Takai what he'd been up to, they were furious and relieved. After living in the shadow of Rentaro's hauntings for so long, they were finally able to feel at home again in the Ryokan. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson, even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time on the town with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Dear Hannah, Rentaro confessed to Mawako and Takai. It was not a pretty sight. After many months of apologizing and begging, Mawako agreed to allow Rentaro to undo some of the damage he'd done to the Ryokan's reputation. Instead of scaring away guests, Rentaro was using his skills to modernize the Ryokan in small, Takai-approved ways. Mawako broke up with Rentaro after he confessed. He's hopeful that one day she'll change her mind. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were him. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson, even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time on the town with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Residents of a German castle are being terrorized by a fearsome creature, and it's up to me to crack the case. Once I arrive at the castle, I begin to suspect that there may be more to this monster story than just superstition. As monster sightings become more frequent and creepy signs begin appearing, I find myself in danger of becoming the monster's next victim. 
Join me as I try to solve the case without becoming another entry in the castle's long and grisly history in my next adventure, The Captive Curse. Suki, tate. Oh my gosh, I think I really saw this one. Like, Suki, tate.